All right, so we got a new round of merch stuff. Not going to dedicate the whole video to it this time around, as you can see by the title already. Just wanted to show you a new set of 500 GT3 RS posters that will be signed. And if it's anything like last time around, uh, they sold out in like 30 minutes. So if you are at all debating, if you have wanted a little bit, I encourage you to think very quickly. Otherwise, you may miss your opportunity. That said, Along with these new 500 signed GT3 RS posters, there will be an unlimited amount of the GT posters that are available. If you missed out on the last batch, uh, they're just not signed this time, but I know that some of you probably actually just like the design and you wanted to pick one up because of that, not as much for the signature. So you can grab those. I have to now go and sign all these. So last time around, I tried to do a special golden ticket kind of poster. Drew a little silhouette of my take of the Ford GT on there under my signature. Not a great drawing. Nobody ended up sending me a message on Twitter. Maybe they just didn't catch the part where I talked about it. So I don't know what happened because all the posters sold. So I guess they were just like, what's this weird drawing? Everyone must have gotten it. All right, so here I am reviewing the first cut of the vlog and I see this edit that Alex put in showing me the person who apparently did send me an image that they got the one. So Henny, sorry about that. Uh, I didn't catch that one. Even somehow it got a lot of upvotes on the subreddit. So. Here's your actual shout out from me now. Thanks for pointing that one out, Alex. I appreciate it. Okay, and now we move along. I'm dumb. So again, if you get the poster that has what I am about to draw, tweet me and I'll shout you out in the next video here. It'll be great. Okay, so here we go. It's gonna be the normal signature and then I am going to do my best to draw a 911 below it. Sick Volkswagen Beetle. Give me a With break. A it's got too. the front end to it. Now it looks like you're giving it a, the PT Cruiser wood paneling on the side. No, it's the door. Mm, Duh. That's a PT Cruiser. You can't convince me otherwise. That's the... Oh, I see. Your pizza wheels. Oh my. Got those Chuck E. Cheese uneven pizza slice wheels. So if you get this, your poster has been officially devalued. <laughs> if you get this, send me send me a tweet. Tell me how disappointed you are in my art. <laughs> Shut up. I'll show you out in the next video. And there we have it. Once again, 500 of these, but the GT poster unsigned in unlimited numbers, the hats, and then there's some stickers available, link in the description. Feel free to check it out. And uh, on to the video. Well, if you had told me a couple weeks ago that today I'd be going into the Ferrari dealership to pick up a new car, I'd have called you crazy. Yet here we are. That is in fact what's happening today. I've surprised myself with it, and I know you're probably like, Jordan, what in the world are you doing? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Well, let me get you caught up, because a lot has happened in the past week. So, you might recall, a few months back, made a video, and was like, hey, gotta decide what the next supercar is gonna be. Went through the Ferrari 488 Pista, the Superformance GT40, the Porsche GT3 RS, and the McLaren 600 LT. Obviously, on the way to getting the 600 LT now. However, in that video, I was like, hey, first choice, really like the Pista out of the bunch, but I've talked to my Ferrari sales guy, he said, unfortunately, I wouldn't be able to get an allocation, they're all spoken for. That changed. Last week, I get a text message. Hey Jordan, may have a way for you to get a hold of a Pista. I'm like, huh, isn't that nifty? Got a 600 LT on her, so uh, well, what? So what's what's the deal? What's going on here? He's like, well, if you go ahead and and grab a hold of the car that we're gonna be getting today, I'll leave it a mystery until we get to the dealership. Then you can get a build slot for the Pista and you should be able to get a delivery later on this year. I'm like, ah, oh my God, I can't not get one. What do I do? I can't just be like, this is an opportunity to build a Pista from the dealer to my exact spec that I want it and I turn it down? I can't do that. So you're wondering, am I still getting the 600 LT? The answer is yes, I'm still getting the 600 LT. Am I gonna be getting a Pista? Yes. Today the 458 is going bye-bye. We're getting mystery vehicle that you'll see in just a few minutes here. And then, once the piece that takes delivery later on this year, I'll be trading back said mystery vehicle and get the Pista. I'm gonna have, though, too many cars because I only have three garage spaces, so I need to find external storage. It's a whole thing. 
It really is. And here we are. Yep, am I making wise life decisions? That's up for debate, that's questionable. But you know what? Yeah, you might as well make the most of life. Right? Right. For anyone also wondering, the Ford GT staying, don't worry, that isn't going anywhere. The GT3 RS, that is also staying. It's just gonna be minus 458, pick up mystery car, take delivery of 600 LT, cause 600 LT is gonna come before the Pista, then trade out mystery car, get Pista, and that's gonna be the garage. Or multiple garages now, cause it won't all fit here. Oh boy, let's go take a, the last drive in the 458, actually. Didn't expect that, not at all. But you know what, when opportunity comes knocking, you open the door. Don't do as I do. All right, so for our last drive in the 458, we're going a grand total of three miles an hour in traffic. It's a really exciting send off. I'll miss the car, for sure. I mean, this is the second one I've had. I mean, I think that I'll miss the sound more than anything. And there is a, a nostalgia factor with the fact that this is, not this one in particular, but the 458 is the first supercar that I ever had. And it will always hold a special place in my heart, but, the Pista is just on another level. It really is. I know it's turbocharged, not naturally aspirated, but in all fairness, Ferrari has done a good job with making the turbocharged engine sound nice. Granted, I, I still prefer the sound of the 458 to the 488, but with everything else that you get with the Pista, like 710 horsepower, I think I can deal with a slightly more muted noise. Not to mention we have the GT3 RS now anyway, so we've kind of satisfied our naturally aspirated criteria anyway. So I'm not as worried because of that. Otherwise, if I was all turbocharged cars, certainly I would have missed it, but we've got the sound from another source now, so I think I can deal. Oh man, the Pista is gnarly. I actually watched a video uh, just the other day that was, it was linked to that group car chat that I'm in, and it was GT3 RS 991 Mark II, so just the iteration beyond mine, and the 600 LT and the Pista all head to head around a track. Granted, you could say the Pista is not quite equivalent to the other two. You need like the 720 or the 750 LT or uh, the GT2 RS to really direct compare. But in any case, the Pista did well. It got the quickest time. It should, it has the most power, but like in comparison, I'm sure that this car would be probably like six seconds off of whatever the Pista was on. That's another couple seconds slower than the GT3 RS. So all in all, uh, it's it's gonna be gnarly. Not to mention, it is an absolutely beautiful car. I'll say the 488, I was kind of so-so on whether or not it was like a big improvement design over the 458, but the Pista, whew, they got it right. They really did. So I'm stoked. It's just gonna be a really hard decision to figure out what color I want to spec the thing and the stripes and all that. Carbon fiber wheels are available as an option, so we got that to consider. We can match it to the Ford GT if we want to. I think they're a slightly more pricey option though on the Pista than they were on the Ford GT. Uh, but they are made by the same company, Carbon Revolution. They're doing it for the GT, they're doing it for the Pista. So all in all, uh, we could be rocking some Carbon Revolutions all around. We'll see though, we'll figure it out. There was one that was in the showroom when I was last in there a few days ago. It was yellow with black stripes. It had a beautiful interior though of uh, this blue Alcantara with yellow contrast stitching and leather piping. I was like, I like that interior. I just don't know that I'd go with yellow on the outside was my issue with it. But like a dark blue, there's blue TDF, blue Electrico. Those are a few possible options. And it's just gonna be a decision. Rosso Corsa is also, you know, just the standard Ferrari color that you think of when you think Ferrari, but it looks good on the Pista. There's so, it's just, there's a lot to choose from due to the fact that we have not only the main body color, but we also have the stripe color that we have to deal with, which makes it a little bit more difficult to make a decision in that regard. So I'm not entirely sure what we're gonna do, but fortunately they have a better configurator at the dealership for it than they do on the website. So I can get pretty much an exact view of what it's gonna look like when I take delivery instead of having to sort of approximate. Um, like with the Ford GT, for example, I kind of had to just hope for the best, right? With the Miami blue, because there was no configurator that that color could be put on. I was just like, all right, let's hope this turns out. Fortunately, it did. No issues there whatsoever. It's fantastic. And I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna be too disappointed with whatever I end up choosing, but it's, uh, it's a tough decision. 
all the different components that I have to consider. We'll see though. Anyway, in regards to the mystery car, you'll be seeing it soon enough. Um, it'll be a bit bittersweet because there's certainly a lot of elements I, I love about this thing um, in comparison to the car we will be getting. But the car we will be getting is more powerful and uh, so we'll see. And also more practical, come to think of it. I could technically go for a day of snowboarding in it if I wanted to. Whether or not that'll happen, we'll see. Anyway, I guess uh, I'll sit in traffic for a little bit more here and we'll make our way over to the dealership and we'll have the final send off. I'm glad that you really got to hear this thing and see it in its element on the way over. Zero miles an hour. It is 1 p.m. and there is bumper to bumper traffic. Welcome to LA. That was uh, four and a half minutes to go two blocks, which is officially why I do not leave my house when it's not a weekend. All right, last time getting out of the car. Uh, so farewell to this one. Ferrari branded waters. What do you guys put in this? Is there like special, <laughs> more than just H2O inside yes, of these things? Exactly. Get a little bit of octane in there. Gasoline, yes. Mm -hmm. So administrative stuff all taken care of. I guess it's time to show you the new vehicle. And when I say new, it is actually brand new. It's got 40 miles on it. It was their display model. So it was just to show people, hey, this is what the car looks like. So now that I have it, they're gonna get a new one in place. And all right, shall we? Here we go. Boom. It actually looks very similar to the one that I drove in Monterey. It's the Portofino. We got the black exterior. We got the cream interior. It's a very, very nice color combo. I don't mind black. Black looks great. Um, it's just gonna have to try very, very hard to keep those seats clean. But it's, you know, when you put them back to back, the 458, which you can see over the reflection there, uh, it is just a much more modern, updated design. So I really don't mind it. It's got 590 horsepower. It is more powerful than the 458 by like 30 horses. Brand new, 40 miles on it. So it's actually the first, uh, first new Ferrari I've ever gotten. And I'm excited for it. It's gonna be sweet to get some variety. First twin turbo Ferrari as well. And uh, we'll be driving it around for, I don't know, the next six, seven months and hopefully enjoying it quite a bit. Interior, similar to what it looked like over in Monterey. I do really like the light seats though. It's just, you know, keeping them clean is gonna be a bit of a, a headache, but I'll do my best. We'll pack seats right there. The cool thing is uh, there's actually a pass-through. So I was saying earlier, I can take this thing to the slopes if I wanted to. That can come down and I can slide a, a snowboard through it. Um, not that I'm actually gonna end up doing it, but it's an option. Big screen, which is new. We've also still got the dual screens here behind the wheel. And I'm gonna try to keep my foot off of that part because it's gonna get it nice and dirty. Uh, it's got a sizable cup holder there in the center so I can put my Ferrari waters in it. And uh, all in all, it's just a nice updated interior. Push to start. Hmm. So let's just, I guess, turn it on. <laughs> Did you know a door is open? <laughs> this is so 21st century Ferrari. Look at this. I bet I can even connect my phone directly in here. Isn't that nifty? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Pairing successful. Oh boy. Let's see. First time Bluetooth in a Ferrari. Woo! I don't you know, know if you saw my adapter setup in the 458, but I had the, it stopped working after a while, which uh -huh. was the bummer, but I had the iPod connector coming out of the dash, mm -hmm. and then it went into a thing that connected, that was like the old 10 pin to the lightning adapter, mm -hmm. and then from that I had to have an extension cable that ran from that adapter to my phone, and it worked okay for a while, and then it was just, it gave out. Works here. Doesn't matter. We're all good. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. Bye-bye. It's getting unwrapped before it gets uh, resold. So I personally think the wrap is cooler, but uh, I guess not everyone agrees. And or they just wanna make sure that, you know, it's not seen any damage underneath it. So I get it, I get it, that's fine. I'm just a little bit particular to the blue. And this one's not gonna be turning blue. So uh, much to your happiness. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
all that's left is to uh, give it a startup. So I guess thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more content on the new Portofino. Exciting, something very unexpected. So uh, yeah, make sure to subscribe, like do all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next video, which is probably like the first drive of the thing, which will be the second drive because of Monterey. You get the idea, let's start it up and end it.